We are with Mac Pro today and we are going to be creating a gorgeous, same approved look using, of course, Mac Cosmetics. The inspiration for today's look is going to be very glamorous and I'm taking a little tip from a shoot I did in Paris recently and I can't wait for you to see the inspiration. It's gonna be very glowy, very dramatic, but yet you'll probably wanna wear this look. So, let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my face of tapes, which I usually go about here and here. I'm gonna add a little rubbing out call. And these little tapes are gonna hide under the wig. And I took these uh, tapes, I've cut them in half. I've made them a little bit smaller because I'm just going to place them right around here. All right, so I'm gonna prime my eye using Bear Study. It's a pro longwear uh, paint pot. I love using paint pot as a base. The cool thing about uh, Bear Study as a color is it's loaded with iridescent pigment. It picks up on a ton of light. So because I'm going for a nice Studio 54 Glamour Girl vibe, I really wanna showcase as much luminosity in the product as I work. Now I'm going to use a lip liner. This is mahogany lip liner and I'm going to create a little bit of eye definition. I'm just going to create this kind of angle framing the eye. This is not a cut crease. It's not supposed to be uh, defining a new eyelid. It's literally just blowing out the eye shape and filling it with pigment. I'm gonna gradiate this shade. I really wanna keep everything very glowy. I'm gonna start with my mid-tones, kind of building out the shadows in my eye. Buff it into the surrounding shape. There's no defining line. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more pink around the edges from a brighter shadow. These light lavender purples usually read pinky on the skin. As I work a color story into my eye, I usually use a smaller brush and a deeper color. I work the depth in with refining brushes that are a little bit tinier each shade. I'm gonna go back and take that color out with the previous brush. I actually will take a little bit of a blending shade to kind of bridge the gap. I think it might be a little nicer if we kind of connect a little bit. So this is called Dazzle Shadow Liquid Diamond Crumbles. The coloring is so pretty. It's like iridescent, blue, purple, there's some gold. It's everything. And while it's still a bit damp, I'm gonna take some Reflex Glitter. So now I'm going to be working on my skin. And I've already cleansed and uh, toned and moisturized, but I'd like to add a few products as I go along. There's certain things in the collection that I've discovered that I've never seen before, so I'm really excited to use. So first off, I'm gonna take a little bit of strobe cream. So we're gonna take C2 and, and blend it out through the skin and then use a bit more studio finish concealing for full coverage where I need it under the eyes and to highlight the face. I will pay tribute to my origins of drag and I'll be using this to brighten under my eyes. I believe this is going to be in uh, W10 and W20 range. I'm mixing two shades together. You're gonna put this underneath the eye in like a C shape. You're going to bring it down the side of the bridge of the nose, just toward the smile line. Let the product start to disappear or melt into face and body foundation. Even the front of the nostril, this will be a positioning, adjusting the shape.
So this is probably going to be an NW45 or NW35, I think it's probably 35. I'm really just going along with what feels right. It's a bit warm, so we're going to use a, um, another shade to kind of kick back the warmth in a moment. I'm going to take it right to the hairline. Create a little V. Soften that line by just hitting it with the foundation brush, bringing it toward the highlight. There's intention with my application. I'm gonna use a bit of Luna. It's like a cream highlight base. I'm gonna go right over the foundation with that. We're even gonna go above the brow and right over the high point of the brow bone as well. I want this to glow. Glow, glow, glow. All right, I'm gonna use Vintage Rose Cream Blush. Kind of give a little lovely light and warmth to the skin. So now we're going to set my foundation underneath the eyes and the perimeter. We're gonna start with a heavier bake with the Studio Finish Light Powder. You really wanna cut a line into the face, make a highlight really sharp. You can just take the powder on like a blunt edge of a, that I'm using the same sponge I blended with, and just literally, that's your line, and let it bake while you finish the rest of your makeup. I like to do the nose right along the edge. I always feel like it gives a really good structure. I'm gonna take that powder, I'm just gonna kind of cascade it across the entire face. Across the contours, that's what we're getting at here. Now I'm gonna use one of these palettes by MAC. Uh, this is a light medium, Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour. I'm gonna use their mid-tone range. Go here. NC10 Studio Fix Foundation Powder, and I'm just gonna hit the under eye and along the nose. This is where we start adding foundation. You know, I started out with face and body foundation, but the powder and the security is giving us that drama. I'm gonna mix two shades. I'm gonna use Pinch of Peach and Sincere. Gonna use liquid eyeliner and this is going to be boot black. Some mascara, I'm gonna use what I used before when I used to work with MAC, False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. Blink into that mascara. We're gonna do a liquid lipstick. I'm 
I'm gonna add a little bit more depth to the outer edge. Now we're gonna put on some eyelashes. I'm using Lash 36 by MAC. This is so pretty lip glass. It's a new galaxy. Because it's a lip glass and it's sheer, I believe it will wear over pretty much any color. Thank you so much for watching the look. I am feeling all my fantasies and I honestly feel like I'm ready to go to Studio 54. I'm absolutely loving this full fantasy look we created here at Mac Pro. So many kisses to you. I hope you picked up a few notes and lots of love. Bye.